Opa sarangi. Not fully warmed up yet, but we'll give it a go. Okay, straight down the fairway. Why you take an iron on the vessel? Uh, because I just want to keep it to a good distance where I can leave myself just inside of a hundred, probably around like the ninety. So dangerous, we cannot take our diver. Yeah, you can. It's just too early in the morning to do that. <laughs> it's like what, 7 15 in the morning? 7 15 in the morning, everybody. The first hole is rather narrow. That'll work. Taking out a driver isn't the wisest thing to do, especially when you are teeing off 7 15 in the morning. So, Mark had an iron, a three iron, and an approach wedge to the back pin. He pushed it to the right and just a very routine up and down with an approach wedge for a par. That's. Uh, uh. Okay. Hole two, par three at 130 meters. We've got the morning sun facing us. Mark took out an eight iron and hit a beautiful shot straight for the pin. Unfortunately, it just fell shy of the green and a very, looks so simple up and down with the sand wedge. And a tap in par into the sunrise. So beautiful. Thank you. Par 4 hole 3 is at 400 meters. There is internal OB on the left side. So you might actually want to aim towards the lollipop on the right. Um, the best spot will be actually in between the tree on the left as well as the lollipop. Mark push this slightly towards the right. Okay, not exactly ideal. And maybe he may just get blocked by the trees. Well, I really need to go to the restroom so badly. This is so... This is very uncomfortable, gents. You can tell it's early in the morning and you know he has not really finished his business yet. You can tell he's standing really awkward. Not good at all. Oh dear Darren, that's bad. Delete that shot. Uh, I think I will hit this shot because Mark seems like he needs to go off quite early. It's on the edge of glory right now. So I'm taking over. We've got 162 meters. I went with a six iron and the ball landed it's onto on the nice. green. Yay. I shot okay. it. Thank you. So I was left with a double breaker. It's right to left with left to right at the end. And it veers right, see? So I know it's gonna go right to left, then last part veers out. Yeah, yeah. Not sure what this line is, but let's hope it's pretty straight. Good morning, golfers. Today, I'm at NSRCC's Kranji Golf Course. This golf course is actually next to Malaysia. You can see Malaysia or Johor just right across the course. And uh, this course is due for renovation, I think, in about a week's time. So we'll have one last look before this course goes for renovation. Uh, today, I'm playing with a childhood friend and an idol of mine, Mark Kawaso. Say hi, Mark. Okay, he's not here. He went to the toilet. So we'll say hi to him later. Mark, say hi. Welcome Peace back out, to the everybody. Toilet. I'm back. I'm back and I'm feeling lighter now. Say hi to the viewers. Howdy, everybody. This is Mark Kawaso. He's uh, with the golfing lab. And this guy is a childhood friend of mine. Childhood of friends time. for about, what, 30 years, I think? 30 years? Yeah. So for this hole, right, we got to hit it in between the two towers. You can see, right, this one. And then yep. in between this one so right in the middle here and i think we are going with a what a 200 meter shot yep safer i can think we take a driver actually you you can if you want to be aggressive you can but um we're, we're bringing all the hazards into play right you are and it's too early to do that so no we're gonna just lay up okay. nice that'll work that's actually a good spot dude Okay, nice and safe. Okay, I've got 75 to the pin from here and it's kind of muddy, so... 
sandwich. Stick it. What it? Oh, just hits the lip. That's good. This part three on hole number five, it's 100 meters. We needed um, 94 meters to carry the bunker just in front of the blue pin. Mark went with an approach wedge. Stuck it pin high. What a great shot, Mark. Nice shot. Okay, now the view good. on this hole is really excellent. You can tell from Mark's birdie part. And it would be really nice if he could sing this one. Can he? Hole 6, par 5, it's uh, reachable for me in 2. I can carry the bunker on the left. I'm not using the new driver yet, it's still the TSI. As I walked over to the ball, I've got a downhill eye. Oh, sit. Sit, 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 sit. That's in the water. Maybe water? 50-50, could 50, be okay. 50. Not a good shot. I believe I've contributed multiple balls into this pond. Saving a par here would be really sweet. Ooh, got chance to save par. It's, I can pick up. Uh. Fuck, man. Okay, not ideal. Okay. It's long enough. Maybe bunker or just short. Probably bunker. Oh boy. I thought I belong in the long category. No. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Not the prettiest of lies. What a shot. Sit. What a shot. Yeah, that could be good. Mr. Kawaso. That could be good. Much more break. Uh. That was going to go more. Hole 8, par 4 at 369 meters. I'm taking out a driver to drive over the right bunker, planning for a draw. The left bunker will be in play. I apologize for the funky and wonky shot tracer. Sometimes this happens. How was it, sir? See behold. On my second shot, I have a downhill line, ball below feet at 120 meters. Three quarter, nine iron punch. Unfortunately, it's a pull. Oh, it. Ball is on the green with a really, really long oh, putt. And it's on.
Oh, good try. Lastly, we're at hole nine of the front nine. It's a par five at 540 meters. We have to hit it right down the middle as both bunkers will be in play. Hey, nice. And on this uphill awkward lie, I went with a three wood. It's a three quarter feel. I just want to feel my lower body steady and hit a, feels like a slight punch and keep the ball within 100 meters of the pin. Now the green is kind of tricky. The pin is on the left side and I have a sand wedge at just about 80 odd meters and stuck this pretty close. Oh, lovely. Great shot. Thank you. The front line of this course, I would say it's really well designed and I hope that with the new renovation, the condition will be so much better. Oh, lovely birdie. I'll see you guys in the next nine next week. Bye-bye.